Alright guys, we're here again with Darius Hall. He is my co-host for this show. Um, today we're going to be talking about just rules. On Killer 9. <laughs> yes. Killer 9 is a uh, you've game. You've never heard of it. <laughs> you've, you've never heard of this game. Uh, me and my grandfather actually come up with it. And um, it's a super fun game. We're actually going to post a video on it. Um, so just be waiting for that. Uh, the rules of it are very, you know, fun, difficult, and it's one of the most challenging games so far that I have found to play. I mean, if you have, do you agree with that? I, I agree. I think that second to that, it would be, I mean, rotation and one pocket. I mean, I've messed around with it, but I don't really know all the rules. Yeah, I've messed around. I've played yeah. one pocket like a few times. But Killer Nine is super fun. Uh, it yeah. it makes you work on your banks. It makes you work on your caroms, your kicks, your thought process, uh, yeah. your hooking. Uh, there's just so many more elements to the game. Yeah. That, I, I, uh, I think it makes uh, any pool player more versatile. Yep. I think if you can break and run a Killer Nine <laughs> rack, you are a super seven <laughs> because it is so tough. Um, I, I bet I, Shane Van Bowden. I would bet against somebody uh, breaking and running. A killer man. <laughs> Me too. I'd put money on it. It's, it's worse. I would say maybe Efren. Well, I ain't even going to say F Maybe. <laughs> I'm going to say Efren could. Because, I mean, I watched the match with him earlier. And he might as well have played Killer Nine the yeah. whole <laughs> the whole rat. I was like, it's, dang. It's I, harder. I meant to send that to you. I was like. Man, Everett's playing Killer Nine. Yeah. Like, how do you find out about this? I don't, I don't doubt it at all. Oh, um, it's harder than playing the Ghost, honestly. It's oh, yeah, super yeah. hard. Um, yeah. There's just way more strategy to it, way more um, thought process going into it. Uh, you know, playing a safe at the right time could literally just change the game. <laughs> Maybe what we'll do is just add just a clip of Killer Nine at the very end of this video. You know, just a little teaser. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll put we'll put part of this. We'll teaser. put part of this into the Killer Nine video. We'll just cut this section out. And put okay. It okay. Killer okay. Nine. So, but uh, what else we got? Um, if you break on and Killer Nine, if you break and you snap the nine behind the the object ball that's sitting in that pocket, it is considered a win. <laughs> If you do not make that intended ball, and or if you if you snap the nine, and the ball that's sitting in that pocket does not fall in, is not a win. So that's kind of a rule we just had uh, come up with today when we were playing. Because we, we had we change it. if you just snap, if you snap the nine, you win, and then that way we don't have to worry about making another ball. You know the nine ball and all that kind of stuff, and, and, it's, and then that way you just start all over. It's really going to be up to you um, on that, just however you play. Yeah, it's going it, to get twisted around like eight ball. <laughs> if you like me and you like to save quarters and stuff like that, if you the table isn't open, then if you snap the nine, it's not a win. You just use the next highest ball. Yeah, if the table's open, uh, you can just spot the ball. Right. So therefore, just play the game. But. Uh, if it's not open, that's basically our rules for it. Right. So, um, let's see. But we got you can use. It's just basic basic nine ball. You can push out. You can roll out. Uh, you can jump. You can mass a. You can do whatever. Um, just gotta. You cannot hit the stripes into the pocket. Just one through or uh, eleven through fifteen. You can't just shoot them in order like that. Uh, you actually have to take, say, whatever object ball you're on in rotation. You're just playing regular nine ball, but you have to 
say you hit say you break and you make the one ball and you're on the two ball so now you have to hit the two ball first and either carom or combo into a stripe to pocket it and all those stripes have to be pocketed before the nine ball for the game to be over if you make the nine early or combo the nine early it's a loss um, but you can you can just you can play basic nine ball you can uh, shoot the two in run you go to the three but once you get down to the eight it's gonna be really hard for you to make all the stripes with the eight ball so you kind of want to pick and choose which ball you make and when you when you make it um, so if, a, if the one ball is sitting in the pocket and you make the one and the twos is set up for a combo on the stripe you want to go ahead and pocket the one and use the two for the combo and then uh, try to you want to try to leave the two ball for another combo or carom and so once you do that you know once you get to where you make all the stripes then you can just play regular nine ball left and run to the nine and if you make all the stripes before the nine you win so yeah this game will definitely uh yeah, definitely turn up your Kiram game. Big this time. is this is a more uh, mid level to advanced level playing. If you're a new player, you probably don't want to play this game. <laughs> it will take you hours. You probably, you probably already play Killer Live. <laughs> just being just not as good. Balls, <laughs> missing the other balls. Just but uh, randomly going if you're around. a really good player, honestly, and you start to play this game with people around you. You will love it, um, and it will improve your game, improve their game too. If you're just starting pool and um, your game, you can't tell the difference <laughs> yeah. between somebody playing Killer Nine who's a, nine. intending <laughs> yeah. with, with Killer Nine rules, yep. and not. Uh, the only difference is, um, and it, we're intending to do what we're trying to do. And I kind of want to get this game to be more popular because it just because of how strategic it is. So you know, I want you to talk to your local buddies and really try to get these games set up and play with people because it's like I said, more strategic and it makes right. your game better. And 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 no one dies, guys. I mean, we have to put the disclaimer out there because someone will <laughs> take it seriously, you know. We don't want any issues or anything like that. It's just called Killer Nine. Matter of fact, you, you know, you can take the ER off. It, it's just an A at the end. So killer. It's killer Nine. So. Yeah, Killer. <laughs> and it's a killer yeah. game to play. <laughs> it really is. All right, so it's a Tuesday night. I got to go to work in the morning. Oh, me too. Back to uh, reality. But uh, we'll be pool here. is life. <laughs> our, so, our life is pool, for sure. Right. So I look forward to this weekend. I was in my a little bit last weekend. No, we'll be out <laughs> hitting hitting it up this weekend, for sure. Yep. Yeah. Thanks for being a part of this show, man. All right, Appreciate no problem. Uh, we will uh, get, a, get another one going soon. All right, no problem. Yeah. Take it easy. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> like and subscribe. Okay, so we got Darius up to break. Breaks pretty well. Uh, pockets a few stripes. The object of the game here is to uh, really pocket all the stripes before you pocket the nine. So, but you gotta hit the one first right here. Um, he's gonna try to kick into the one and pocket the ten. Because you can't just shoot the 10 straight in. You have to hit your object ball first. And uh, so there he hits the 1. Misses the 10. Leaves me bad. So what I'm going to try to do is hit the 1. Draw back into it. And make the 10. Missed it just by a little bit. I left him hooked.
There is always standing in front of the camera as usual. What he's going to try to do here is kick at the one and just really make a good hit because there's no pocket the one can go in or I mean the combo would be very tough right here. When he's basically we're basically just playing regular nine ball. So um yeah, he's gonna just try to kick it to one. Made a good hit on the one ball. Almost pocketed that 12 there in the side. Uh, leaves me a kind of a tough shot. I'm gonna try to do a little carom off the one into the 15. Just like that. Wasn't a very easy shot. You really gotta know your caroms for that. There, I just tried to combo the 6 and missed, but made the 12. Now I'm just going to pocket the 1 and then try to use the 2 for the, the 10. I'm going to draw back into it. Missed it, but still made the 11. Right here. I really don't have a good shot on anything, so I'm just going to try to bank the two ball. Missed it. Left area is kind of tough. Still makeable, but very tough shot. And you don't want to run down all your balls before you get the stripes in. Or else it makes the game fairly tough because then you're using either the seven or the eight to try to make all the stripes and if you pocket one of them then there goes another ball so but here I'm gonna try to bank the two ball get shape on the three missed it uh, Darius is gonna pocket the two and try to get shape on the three ten combo Doesn't do a very good job of getting shape, but you can still carry him off of it if you wanted to. Because he's got to make that 10 before that 9 goes in. He tries to pocket the 10, but comes up short. I'm just going to try to do a little kick there, but didn't work. We always got people walking in our shots. <laughs> Never fails. Walking through the camera, <laughs> knowing we're recording. a good shot on the three and made the six got pretty good shape for the 510 combo and you don't necessarily have to call anything on killer nine uh, if you're more advanced you can make it to where you do call it like 10 ball rules but we're just playing uh, nine ball slop counts all that stuff so 5 from 10 combo is good. Right here he could just combo the 5 into the 9. But he's probably going to try to run it out. Just because we don't normally cheese the 9. Clips the 8. Now I'm just going to try to run 5 through 9. Which... They're all open. Shouldn't be too hard to do. Darius would get out of the way of the camera. It's a beautiful shot on the five. I got this simp uh, super tough cut here. Which I made it, but you can't tell because Darius is in front of the camera. <laughs> there you go. Move out of the way. Um, I'm going to cut the eight in. 
probably bank the nine. So I'm, I'm kind of a, a banker. Yeah. Reverse bank. And that's my out. Okay, got a new game started here. I'm up to break. Almost snapped the nine. Probably got a few stripes. And see, now we got some of the stripes out in the open, so this game is gonna be a lot tougher because. You gotta, like I said, you gotta make the, the caroms and combos to um, pocket the stripes. You can't just shoot them straight in. And that was a fairly good combo. Scratched, no luck. My luck is just terrible playing pool. But Darius always seems to have pretty good luck. And coin flips and everything else. He always wins the break. That's what he wants to do. He wants to set up the 114 combo. Leave the one there. Come around for the two. He's set up on the three. I done made the two. Right here, uh, he uh, sets up, I guess, for this combo three nine, which is a, a loss because you can't make the nine <laughs> before the stripes. He just realized that. So we got another game set up here. Let Darius break. So by now you should have the gist of the game to where you just use the object ball that you're on, whether it be one through nine, to combo all the stripes in before you pocket that nine ball. Makes your carom game improve, your combos improve. Your kick shots, your bank shots, just really improves everything. Right there, he committed a foul, did not hit the one ball first. Ball in hand foul to me. I'm going to set up, use the 112 combo. Or 115, I think. Yeah, 115. Our camera does this little shift, trying to adjust. Just trying to pocket the one a little too hard. There he's just going to try to kick into the one. see it so I guess he cut it I got a pretty clear shot so I'm just gonna pocket the one but I rattled it so hit too hard so on these diamond tables you can't force anything in Darius plays a good safe. You can still play defense in these games. It makes a makes a difference. I'm gonna try to kick into the one and also get a good leave. You can see it, but it's not an easy shot. <laughs> He 
plays another pretty good safe. I'll try the long rail, but hit the five. Ball in hand foul to Darius. Well, he's going to try to uh, carry him off the one and pocket the 10, four, or 10 or 14. Has no luck doing that. So I'm going to try to pocket the one here. Come back around, use the two. Actually, I did a two rail kick trying to pocket one of those stripes. <laughs> now, Darius should have a pretty simple combo on the stripe. Tried to bank those balls in, but no luck. So I'm going to try the 1 5 combo. He missed it. Uh, that's a ball in hand foul to Darius. Didn't take my time to really aim it out. These were kind of just practice games. Nothing, you know, for any money. Me and Darius wouldn't gamble each other anyway. Right here, he's going to try to set up the 111, pocket the 11, and you see we're still using this one ball as the game's mostly halfway over. Still trying to use this one ball to combo these stripes. He missed that stripe. So I'm going to try to combo that 113 in. It's a very off angle combo, but. You know, playing this game, my combos have gotten a lot better, so. Pocket that ball with, with ease. I'm going to try to kick into this one ball, but i got to throw it. So, uh, if, I, if I throw it just enough, I might be able to make that 11. Did not throw it enough. That's the whole ball. Gave him ball in hand. So what he's going to do here is carry him off the 1, pocket the 11. So carry him is where you use a ball and hit either the side of it. Just kind of carrying is what it really means. A uh, combo is just one ball to another. I played safe. I think you might still be able to see it. But to make it, he'll have to kick it. He missed that whole ball. On hand foul to me. I'm going to try to set up another combo. This one being a long shot, didn't quite take my time on it. Like I said, we were just hitting them, just practicing. Just kind of giving y'all an idea of how the game's played. But uh, now I'm just going to let y'all kind of watch the rest of the game.